Hey again, this is Liz Prager with Living with Adult ADHD blog. This is my wife Sarah, if you remember her from last time. And like we said last time, we are going to be talking today about how to plan for holidays while not making me go cuckoo, which isn't that difficult. Uh, so I think we can agree that I hate planning for holidays. Why do you think that is? You hate planning in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think that we figured out over the course of our time together that I hate planning in general because things keep changing. Yeah. I'll be under the impression that we are doing X, Y, and Z, and then all of a sudden, someone from your family or someone from mine will be like, hey, but what about you? Exactly. And so what have we figured out works for us? I try to, for holidays specifically, I try to communicate with our families and just let you know the final plan. Just ask you at the beginning what your input is instead of asking you at each email and each phone call as the plans progress. Just kind of let you get off the hook. Does that stink for you? Um, no, it's fine because I'm the one who likes planning a lot. And, mm -hmm. um, but you don't feel like I'm getting out of work and that you're not getting to have fun? Well, the thing is, like, there are so many things that you do that I get to get out of that I don't like and you are better at. Like so, washing dishes and vacuuming and cleaning. Yeah, basically everything else. So I'm happy to just, <laughs> yeah. like, do the emails. All right. right. Works out fine for me. Our cat. Our, yeah. <laughs> Our cat Nemo just almost fell. He's going to be here soon. Oh, yeah. yep. Say hi, Nemo. Nemo doesn't have ADHD, but he has his own disability of missing a leg. But he makes it work. Makes it work. Make it work. All right. Next time, we're going to talk about something different. All right. Thanks, See guys. You then. Bye.